this is where I die, guys, because trotting rock with one hand is um, taking your life into your own hands. Goat is definitely ready to go and do some dressage. <laughs> Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Whenever I film these, I always worry that my hat's on wonky. Um, I'm on goat. We have just finished our evening schooling session. I didn't film it because um, I just completely forgot, if I'm being completely honest. It is Tuesday. I took yesterday off from vlogging. So obviously I vlogged on Sunday when I was at Little Downham. And then goat had yesterday off. So nothing exciting really happened anyway. Um, and I've just been at work yesterday and today it's that week again where I'm working um, every day 10 hour shifts which is an absolute killer but oh, so much has happened in the last 24 hours that I need to update you guys on. Um, where do I start? Let's go with uh, plans for this week. So I have, oh it's a bit breezy I hope you can hear me and I probably need to swap the camera over to my other hand. Hang on, there we go because um, oh. The camera's quite heavy actually, um, it makes my arm ache, that's something I should really be admitting. Anyway, I digress, back on track. Plans, so I've probably done something really stupid in that, on a whim, I have entered us in a dressage competition for this weekend. It's supposed to be my like chillax weekend after um, being flat out the last couple of weeks, but it's not just any old dressage test, no because well, I wouldn't want to do that now, that would be boring. I've entered us in an elementary. I don't know what possessed me to do that, guys, because I'll be honest, we're not really 100% at elementary yet, but it's just um, a local show. It's literally the yard up from us, so I can hack in there, and I thought, you know what, um, we'll give it a go. If anything, it'll be a learning curve. We'll see if he actually can do it. Um, there are parts that we might get wrong, but it's fine, we're gonna give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? So that's that, and then, and then, oh, riding with no reins. Don't do this at home, kids. I got an email today. Oh, I got an email, I'm so excited. Goatee and I have somehow managed to get a regional final ticket in the 80. Ha! Huh? So we only did one event last year, which you guys will know, which is our Stratford Hills. Hello Rockies. And because um, we placed, we got came fifth and they've changed the rules a little bit because of coronavirus, we have now got a regional final ticket. I'm just, what? So um, my plans of not really eventing this year have gone down the drain now. Sun's so bright because I can't not use that ticket. That would just be rude. So, um, Turns out Goaty and I are going to be going to a British eventing event, even though I said I'd only do one. Well, first I said that I wouldn't um, event, I said I'd just do dressage. Then I said I'll just do unaffiliated, and now I'm entering a BE event. I'm excited. I mean, he is probably going to be the first event that he goes to in two years well no we're, no not two years 18 months probably so i don't really care if it goes wrong i just got a ticket and i'm gonna use it and it's gonna be great fun but anyway um that is all i have to update you on this evening lots of exciting news um i'm gonna put goat to bed now well out in his field go home get up at half five i'm gonna work and i'll catch up with you tomorrow when i'm not as excited and not as squawky and Oh, I can't even get my words out. I'm just so excited. Okay, right, enough now. I'll speak to you tomorrow, guys. Welcome to Wednesday. It's hump day. Um, well, actually, it's not hump day for me. It's my Friday today. No, my Thursday. It's my... <laughs> I'm getting so confused. Basically, tomorrow is my last day at work. I've got a long weekend. I'm off work Friday, 
Saturday, Sunday this weekend. Um, but I'm just walking down the drive now um, to get Tiny ready. I'm gonna have a schooling session on Tiny tonight. And I had um, some comments on um, a couple of vlogs now asking about the situation with Tiny and Annie and who they belong to and that. So I thought it would be a good time to um, quickly explain that now as I'm walking down the drive. So Tiny and Annie, both the bay mares that um, we went to Little Down and With last Sunday, belong to Sarah. Um, she was in the vlog briefly riding. So basically, um, Annie, Ella owns, own, doesn't make any sense, you can't even see me. Annie, Ella loans from Sarah. So she has her um, to event, and Annie has previously, I want to say vented up to novice, maybe higher definitely hire something with stars on it. Then she had an injury and um, Ella's brought her back into work. So Ella um, loans her now. And then Tiny also belongs to Sarah, who is Sarah's current competition horse, who she was obviously riding at the weekend, who I ride um, once or twice a week, sometimes kind of on a casual basis, just to help Sarah out and because I love riding her. So yeah, that clears that one up. And then all the rest of the horses um, belong to me and Ella. Well, goat belongs to me, the rest belong to Ella, basically. There you go, right. Time to get the princess ready and do a little schooling session. Here she is. How are you doing? You gonna be a good girl tonight? You're a good girl. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is drunk Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Or oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you I am just walking Tiny back down the drive. She was such a good girl. Um, she was a little bit upset at the start because Annie wasn't around, but um, yeah, she worked really, really nicely. I haven't schooled her for a couple of weeks, so she definitely feels stronger. Um, I just love riding her. She's the absolute dream. Her canter, she just glides over the ground. And as much as I love Goatee, he just, he's not that uphill, bless him. He's not built to be that way. And yeah. I get my fix on Tiny, so I'm happy. It's Thursday! And I'm excited because, as I said yesterday, Thursday is my Friday. I'm done now. I've got a three day weekend and it's another jam packed one. And I'm just um, about to put some poles out. I'm going to do a little lunging session with Goat, but I thought I haven't done any pole work with him recently. And as you guys will know by now, he's basically the most clumsiest horse ever. So doing poles ridden is a pain on your own because you have to keep getting off every time he kicks them 
So I thought I would do it while he's on the lunge because then I'm already on the ground and it'll be easier to change the pole. So I'm not gonna do anything complicated because I've been at work for 10 hours and I'm really hungry, but I'm just gonna do um, a line of trot poles. I might get some of the potties out so we can raise, so I can raise them. I'll see how he feels. I mean, I'll probably change them to canter poles at the end. Um, and then yes, tomorrow morning, I must run through our dressage test for Sunday because never ridden an elementary test before and Goat's never done one either. And we haven't done any of the movements. Yeah, I've never done a 10 meter circle off the center line. At G, I think it said. I don't even know where G is. This could be interesting. <laughs> just having to um, play around with the poles because I haven't really done a lot of canter work with him on the lunge and I forgot how hard it is to actually get him to go in the right place at the right time so I've had a little move and let's try again with the canter poles. And we're done. Go you go T. He actually really enjoyed that. Um, I don't do a lot of pole work with him because I'm not lying, when I did these exercises with him in the winter, he just crashed through the middle of them. But um, he's obviously getting stronger because he's never gonna be perfect. We all know Goat, he's clumsy and he does put in minimal effort. But that for him um, was so good. I'm so proud of him and his trot at the end. Now I just need to let get him to go like that in our dressage test. Come on, darling, a couple more steps and you've made it. Um, right, just get him fed now and then go home. And then I'm actually baking a cake tonight um, because tomorrow I'm going to my friend's for wine night. It was her birthday on Monday and I'm going to bake her a cake. And I can tell you that now because by the time she watches this vlog, she'll already know, but it's a surprise cake. Um, but she is, is it lactose intolerant? So I've gone to the shop today to buy all the dairy-free stuff. I've never made a dairy-free cake before, but um, I think it's just a margarine I swap, so. It, it, it'll be fine. I've got to feed this one first, then go home, have dinner, bake a cake, and go to bed at some point. What'd you say, goat? What are you saying? It's your vlog. You gonna say something? Nah. Good morning. It is Friday, and oh, I sound a bit croaky. I think it's because I'm so tired. Um. Today's my day off work, but the bin men woke me up at half seven. I mean, my alarm was set for quarter to eight, so I don't know why I'm complaining. Um, but I've just got to the stables and I'm going to go and get goatee in. I've learned the test for Sunday, so I'm gonna run through that. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, because um, it's a social distancing show, they've said the gallery isn't open, but I'm hoping Victoria can just, it's just a local, our local venue. It's literally five minutes walk up the road, so I'm gonna hack there. Um, hopefully, they'll kindly let Victoria just stand inside the door at the bottom of the school so she can film it because I'd really love to have it back to look on to see how we do but yeah it, it will be interesting um and I want to tell you guys oh that's it I, I when I was driving to a stable thing I want to 
to talk about this on the vlog. Um, as I've mentioned, um, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times, there are quite a few things going on that I haven't spoke to you guys about. Um, they're things personal to me and I do want to talk about them on the vlog because they are really important things to talk about but at the moment I just don't feel ready to. But what I did want to say is that although most of the time when I pick up the camera I'm all smiley and and I do feel like that but that's only um, like a three minute or sometimes five minute window of that day and a lot of other things are going on so I just wanted to say like please don't think that every week is this smiley wonderful um, affair because there are smiley wonderful moments in my week and I love documenting them for the weekly vlog but I am also working through um, something and it's tough and vlogging while I'm working through it is also really tough because um, this thing I, I can't say I can't bring myself to say it at the moment I'm really I will talk about it but this thing is directly linked um, to me and how I feel about myself and the way I look um, which is why you probably um, hear me say on here sometimes oh, I haven't got any makeup on or think or I'm apologizing for the way I look and I was going to do it this morning and say oh sorry I look like I've got no makeup on I, I, I feel like I look awful today <laughs> um, yeah, it, I've, I've completely digressed. This is why I'm not ready to talk about it yet because I just, my words just come out all over the place. But I think the point I'm trying to make is everyone is um, going through stuff and um, the life that you see online isn't the life that people are really living. Although I try to keep mine as realistic as possible, as you know, I share a lot with you. There are some things that people keep to themselves and yeah, don't think that... Um, the grass is greener on the other side as some people say because I don't think it, it is anyway um I might not even put this clip in the vlog to be honest with you I'm gonna go and ride my horse now <laughs> I'm hoping that by um hand grazing goat maybe I will be in his good books and he's gonna run through his elementary test like a boss did you say goat elementary I don't know if you can hear him he's literally just stuffing his face He's so hungry. Here we go. Who's that, Rockies? A friend. He looks good. Did you do his feet? He looks good. Hello, Colby. Should we go for a ride? I've got you a chaperone. Come on, then. Come on. Good boy. Right? Yeah. You right right there, Toya? Yeah. Colby looks <laughs> very wide. <laughs> He's been a good boy, isn't he? Yeah. He's like he's been out every day. Come on, Colby. <laughs> this is where I die, guys, because trotting rock with one hand is um, taking your life into your own hands. It was a success. Both ponies were so well behaved. Um, I can't get over Colby. He hasn't been hacked out um, for even this year. I don't think he's been out, bless him. Maybe at the start of the year. he did. No, he probably went out at the start of the year and then um, coronavirus came along. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing. We had such a lovely ride. Um, Tori was laughing away behind me because Colby was having to trot fast to keep up with Brock. And, yeah, it was just so lovely and heartwarming and really nice to spend some time with her um, and do something we both enjoy. And I'm just walking Rocky's back now and then I'll pop him and Goat's in his stable and Pea's in her stable. So I'll pop everyone out, do my jobs and then go home, get ready to, um, to go out this evening. It's wine night. I've got my wine. Charlotte's here in her pajamas. <laughs> and um, I'm so impressed with my spread. Okay, I didn't pre prepare it and present it like this. Charlotte did help me, but I'll show you guys. I just um, said that I have to vlog this because I'm sat here with my um, m and double chocolate mini bites and poor Charlotte <laughs> is trying to get the DVD player to work because we're trying to watch a girly film. I'm offering my um, support from here with the chocolate. Here we go, look. 
You're doing a great job. Here we go. Yes! Whose idea was that, though? Mine! No, it wasn't! Oh, <laughs> Look at the camera and say that. Oh, my! No, it wasn't! I said, unplug the HDMI. Come on. Alright, okay. Is it working? I, I did the physical aspect. DVD. I'm the brains. <laughs> and I'm the beauty. Yes! Yay! Woohoo! We're about to watch A Star Is Born and I've got wine and chocolate. Good afternoon. It's Saturday and the trailer is out, but it's not out for goatee. It's out for Colby. We're just about to take it to Victoria's yard and get um, Colby loaded, which might take us a little while, but Simi hasn't been on trailers a lot, but we've got enough time to um, give him time to figure it out. I drank a lot of wine last night and I feel very tired but not hungover thankfully. Um, and I've got to hack a go when we get back to and somehow do dressage tomorrow. I don't know why I agreed to that. Oh and they have um, just combined the field behind um, our fields. The boys didn't even care. So we've got a stubble field. Literally can't wait to go on that at some point. Oh, it might be a bit hard at the moment unless we get some rain. Um, but yes, right, must stop waffling. Gonna get our ponies in for the afternoon and then go and collect Colby and do Catherine's taxi services and take him to Tommy's. He is. Brave man. Took a little couple of attempts, didn't it? I didn't vlog um, putting him on. He, um, he stopped a couple of times. He just needed to... A little bit of reassurance, that was all. And every time I, I just kept bringing him around, every time we got a little bit closer. But yes, right, let's hit the road, Colby. We have got here, haven't we, Toya? Colby travelled really well and um, he's not bothered at all. He's out in his field. I'll just show you guys. Hello, Colby. Look at this. He's got some friends. Good boy. We'll see you soon. It's only for three weeks. And Toy will be up for a lesson in a week. Don't you, Toad? What? <laughs> what is this? Um, it's raining. You could not make this up. I'll turn you around so you can see. It's, I don't know if you can actually see, but it's, it's absolutely chucking it down. Um, it started raining after we dropped Colby off. And I've just got back, but the aircon in our truck is broken. So even though it's raining, it's actually still so hot. And then the windows kept steaming up and I was getting so annoyed. And then I got back and I just couldn't get the truck to reverse. I couldn't get a truck. I couldn't get my trailer in the spot. Um, sometimes I just, I just can't do it. Other days it goes in first time. And today was one of those days where I just couldn't do it. And because um, the truck I have is a long wheelbase, it's almost impossible um, to get the trailer in tight spots and because we've got a narrow bit with the fences from the fields it's just not easy and I wasn't feeling it so the trailer's gone back in the easy spot and I now need to ride goat in the rain and I don't have do I have my waterproofs down here? I've got leggings on because um, it's so hot so they're going to soak through but I think I might have my waterproof trousers and then I'm just taking for a quick leg stretch. We've got dressage tomorrow. Usually, otherwise, if I didn't have, if I wasn't competing tomorrow, I'd be like, nah, not riding in this weather. But because we've got dressage tomorrow, he does need to go just for a little leg stretch. Um, and yes, I'm talking to you to avoid going out in the rain. <laughs> oh. Come on, Catherine. I'm going. I'm going. Goat and I are just um, hiding because. It's absolutely checking it down. We're not going out in there, are we, goatee? We're waiting for it to pass. Hopefully, well, I don't think it's going to stop, but hopefully it won't be hammering it down as much as it is at the moment. We're not going out in there, are we, goatee? Look at that. It is getting brighter, though, over here. So hopefully that will go, and then we can nip out. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm ready now. I've got my hood up. Are you ready, goatee? Let's just go, because it's not getting any better. Come on. Come on, Goaty. Oh dear. He doesn't like the rain. <laughs> it's a good job that my phone is waterproof. Because we are doing a little bit of splashing. And we've got a car behind us. Come on then, Goaty. Splash, splash. This is not what they show you in all the glamorous horse riding adverts. This is the reality in that when you have a horse and you want to keep them event fit, you have to ride no matter what the weather. I've not even been out a minute and we're absolutely soaked. 
can you hear goats flashing? Just had some exciting confirmation. Goat and I are about to have our first ride on the stubble of 2020. And um, if you own horses, you'll know that the best thing about stubble is harvest. Sorry, it doesn't make any sense. The best thing about summer is harvest and harvest means stubble fields. So um, yeah, we were very lucky. We've got one at the back of our fields where we keep the boys and I've just got the green light. So um, we're gonna cut through onto there on the way back and have a huge trot around. I think it will be too hard to do anything else, but um, yeah, it's really good because I don't trot goat on the roads because it's bad. Um, it doesn't do um, his joints because he's got arthritis in his hocks. It doesn't do them any wonders and he drags his feet. So I try to avoid it, but stubble fields means we can get a good trot in. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Here we go. Oh, there's literally no better feeling than riding in an open space like this. Good boy, Goatee. Shall we have a trot? The fun, Goatee. Look at this. Boy, hopefully we get some more rain. And then we can do some interval training out here. It's not too hard because it is a little bit hard underfoot. Um, I'm not sure. I might try and ride him on these. I'm on the tracks at the moment. But I might just ride down that middle bit there. It looks a bit softer. Good boy. Now, I can tell you for a fact there are not many horses that you can take on the stubble field for the first time and trot along like this. All this open space, hey? Good boy. was so much fun that's what it's all about um yeah he's such a good boy goatee i just yeah he's so cool so cool and typically just as we now come back to the yard the rain is pretty much stopping after us getting i mean we are absolutely drenched <laughs> Good morning, it is Sunday. Goatee's here, come on Goatee. Um, I've just ridden, come on, we're not stopping to eat. Um, just ridden Tiny out with Ella, Ella rode Annie, and I'm now getting the goat in because I'm gonna plait up now. We've got dressage for this afternoon, but because we're doing the last class, uh, our time isn't till 10 to three, which is really nice, but I'm getting him in now. I'm gonna do plaiting and that. I'm gonna try and make him look presentable. I'm not barfing for one dressage test, but I'll try and make him look um, a little bit more presentable than he has been, because he was out last night in the rain. And then I'll go home for some lunch and then come back and we'll do our first elementary test. What do you say, goat? He has no idea what's coming. <laughs> I have just washed off his, oh this is quite a good little pointy thing, his white bits down there <laughs> um, and I'm now just going to paint his feet using um, the Hoof Perfect for Amiga which you'll see I'm starting to make my way through. I think I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and um, I'm very very impressed. What I like about it is how soft it is, it's like a ointment and goat traditionally has really bad feet so um, every day without fail I wet them and then put this on um, just to keep the moisture in. So far so good. Hey, I mean you have to give these things like a couple of, uh, at least a month really before you can make a, an expert opinion but yes right let's put this on and then I'm gonna plait. I hate plaiting. to get me help all i'm asking for is just some space and some time then i'll be all right i've been having thoughts in my mind i can't get out tell me things i can't say myself from you and nobody else everything is out of my sight this is also new to me i can do it all in your way say all the things that you say Show me the way 
sunshine on me right out here um just got to the stables i've literally got 10 15 minutes to get tacked up and then start hacking over but um i haven't done any dresser just trying to work it out we haven't done a dressage test since january december so that means that i haven't um he's got a wobbly lip that means yeah it's been a little while and i actually don't have the right gear like <laughs> in the terms of i don't have any white breeches i don't have white gloves um i don't think i have a stock i think i can get my i've got a stock i think i can get it to work um yeah i'm feeling a little bit underprepared but i keep reminding myself it's only a little local show um i'm not going to the olympics so it doesn't matter if we um look a little bit odd Ow, and i've got a black bridle with brown reins and black tack with brown boots because when i bought my dressage saddle i bought a black one and all my tack before that was brown and i need to buy a new bridle as well yeah basically we're a little bit of a mismatch this afternoon but hey let's just go and we'll see what happens i mean i keep telling myself literally what's the worst that could happen it's just a test in arena i mean if it goes wrong we'll just stop and start we'll just do what we can okay right let's do this go is definitely ready to go and do some dressage <laughs> are you ready goatee all your plaits still in oh yes good right let's go <laughs> And highs just to breathe, yeah. I need that. Take it all in now. I see what I'm asking for is just some space and some time. Then I'll be alright. I've been having thoughts in my mind. I can't get up. Tell me things I can't say myself from you and no. it would be really good to do a voiceover and let you know what marks we got so we got a 6.5 um, for our entry to the arena and the comments straight to halt and shoulders right in our halt so we got 6.5 for our halt as well and then we got a 6 um, for the change the rain the medium trot which is coming up here which I think is quite generous because there's not a lot medium about it and the judge's comments were, needs more power from behind, which I completely agree with. He was, he just felt so lazy the whole way through his test. Um, seven for this turn here, overshot A. As I said, I think I was drunk when I was riding this test. Um, she made nice comments that kept the rhythm. We got uh, a seven for this 10 meter circle here in trot. And then I kind of get myself together, get straight again. Um, do another nice circle here i was really pleased with these actually he got a seven for that as well uh, no comment from the judge and i didn't quite come back to the center line completely straight but the judge didn't comment on that so i'm not going to say anything and then um we turn left here and then we halt at x um we need really need to work on our halts so we got a five for this um unevenly balanced was the judge's comment which I'll take there was nothing square about that we got a seven for our transition and the trot work here also got a seven the judge wrote rhythmic and then we are about to ride across the diagonal again and change the rain in supposedly medium trot but there was no medium trot there there was no engine today unfortunately so we got 5.5 .5 for that and um, the judge wrote needs further development completely agree with that and then our transition there, you can just see um, 
he fell on the forehand, so we got a six, and the judge wrote dropped pole in transition, which I agree with. Uh, medium walk, not medium walk, sorry, free walk on a long rain, 6.5 for this. I was um, quite proud of that. The judge has underlined um, ground cover, so I don't know if that means we need to improve more ground cover. He probably could do with marching on a little bit. And then our medium walk here, we got a 5.5 for some tension. He's just anticipating me there, as you saw. I was so worried about not getting the walk to canter. This is the first time I've ever done walk to canter in a test. We got a 6.5 for that. We did it. As I said, it's not the best transition ever. And the judges were needed a little more jump from behind in transition. And then we're on a 15 metre circle here, which we got a 7 for. I was quite pleased with um, this circle, but... As you can see, for me, he's just on the forehand. Like, he can work so much better than this. It's just really, really frustrating. But a nice circle. And then we uh, have an attempt at medium canter up the side here. I say having an attempt. We've got 5.5 for this. And the judge wrote, make better use of the corners, steps flat. And then at this point, the judge kind of picks up a little bit on the forehand. And um, she's written on shoulders here. And then our half circle um, round now, we've got a 6 4. The judge has written more suppleness. And then back to the track and counter canter. Again, she's written more suppleness for that. And then there's a transition to canter at A. I was really pleased with that. We got a 7 for that. That was a really nice um, transition. And then uh, another 15 metre circle. By this point, he really was dying on me, and I was having to kick him to keep going. Um, the judge has written, hind legs need to be a little more underneath, um, sorry, I can't really read the writing. And again, make better use of arena to set up your movement is what the judge has written um, for that movement and for the medium uh, for the medium canter here. We've got a 6.5 for this uh, medium canter. But as you can see, he's just not lifting up through his shoulders. And again, um, the judge has written, we've got a 6 for this on shoulders because he's just a bit downhill. And then our half circle, again, it's, from this point, <laughs> I just have to laugh, bless him. It's just impossible when he's like this. We got a 5.5 for that half circle, flat, difficult return, I agree with that. And then we got a 6 for our turn, I kind of nailed that one, I got one right. And then we got a 7 for our um, halt. We've got a square hole, apparently. I can't see even this camera this far back. But yeah, really pleased with that overall. Lots and lots to we work on. We are now on. on the way home, and this wind has gotten up all of a sudden. Gertie's here, all plaited. Um, first elementary done. I don't know how I feel. I, I just, I get, oh, goat, don't trip over your own feet. Oh, bloody animal. Goat just dies on me. Whenever I go in a dressage test, it's so annoying. Like, he warms up beautifully, and then, um, he just dies. I'm gonna have to talk to him when we get home because it's far too windy. You're not gonna be able to hear me. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me now. Um, yeah, he just dies on me when we go in the arena. I warm him up, how Tammy says, um, and I'm, he's up here and he's brilliant in the warm up. And then it's like we go in and he just switches off and I could just feel him leaning on my hand and it's really, really frustrating. I don't know how to solve it. And then now we're walking home, he's on a right mission. Um, but we did every single movement and that's all I wanted to do. Yeah, our mediums weren't really mediums, but we did the movements. We got our walk to canter. We did every single movement. Some of them I just rode a bit badly, but it was my first one. So um, it was a big step for the both of us. I'm trying to be kind to myself, trying. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna pick up my, um, thankfully, this, they were going to be posting them out, but because it's our a local yard to us, I can just, they said I can stop by on the way home and get my sheet. So um, we'll report back then. Okay, I have um, just picked up my test sheet, Tori's here. Uh, and it is basically exactly what I knew. I can't remember if I said to you guys that I felt, um, I rode some of the movements really badly. I didn't ride an accurate test um, and he was on the forehand and that's exactly what the judge said. Um, so we got 63.28%, which I think is really generous, actually. And the judge's comment at the end was, um, sorry about your marks today. You need to be more accurate with your movements. Yeah, I really, I don't know if it was the nerves or what it was. I wasn't, I didn't write an accurate test. Uh, and make better use of the arena to help your lovely horse take more weight behind. So, um, 
really promising comments and to be fair 63% for first elementary not that bad I'll take it we'll we'll keep going we'll keep going um but I'm gonna end the weekly vlog here because um it's Sunday I need to go and edit this and upload it ready for you guys to watch it either tonight or tomorrow but um if you've made it this far as always thank you for watching please um like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to our channel for more weekly vlogs um and i'd love it for you to leave me a comment below because i got so many comments on our video last week um and i love replying to you and yeah it, it feels like people actually watch it then because there's a name to the number if that makes sense so yeah i will catch you guys next week bye you want to say goodbye bye. <laughs>